I will never be a vegan. I used to say the same thing. I will never be a vegan. <laughs> How are you doing there? Hello. Have you seen this before? Not a clue what this is all about. Yeah, we're building awareness about what happens to animals that are raised to be eaten or used in other ways. So it's going through different land animals at the moment. So this is a sheep opening a faucet to drink water, just showing that they are aware and you know sentient beings. And then basically um, showing them at their end. Yeah, to, um, to bleed them out. That's the stand. Yeah, that's that's what's commonly done. The thing is, there's not really any good way to do. It. I've worked. I, I've spoken with a lot of people who've worked in that industry yes. uh, in slaughterhouses, and they've, the main no thing that's come way. across there's no there's no nice way to do. It, is what they told me. Uh, and this is talking about the male chicks. So that's um, because the males are of no use to the industry. That's what happens within a day or two of their life. Yeah. Have you interacted with any of these species of animals before? Turkeys or yeah, sheep or anything? Yeah, pig, yeah? goat, oh, okay. sheep, chickens, all. I come from the Caribbean and that's just a way of life. Oh, okay. It's, we don't, I never work in a slaughterhouse, but you know, you have to, you have to kill the animal on the weekend. Have you ever seen any of them um, being killed? At a young age or recently? No, at a young age. Yeah, and how did that make you feel the first time you kind of did it? No, I didn't, because it was just a way of life. So I didn't feel remorseful. It was just, it was just, it had to be done. It was it's just like me having a me. I didn't, because here everybody's so squirmish about it, but when you when you are brought up in in it and seeing it done as a child, you, it, it's just something you do. It's, it's just how it is in the Caribbean. So, they have a yeah. they have we, they have a good life. So we they they live in the yard. They 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 roam. But when it's time to we are not vegetarians. We are not vegans. We are carnivores, kind of and that's what we do. So so it sounds like you're saying you kind of you're, you're used to it. Kind of it sounds yeah. like maybe a bit desensitized to maybe that process in the in, in the early years. That looking at it done on such a, 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 a huge scale. That is it's awful. The way how it was done, it was to me in a humane way. But I mean, that's yeah, and that's why this shows a variety of different methods. For instance, we're on the pigs here. There's actually yeah. a pig running up to rescue one of their mates yes. from being slaughtered. Yes, so that just shows how aware. Yeah, yeah, you've seen that before. Yeah. But this is, I mean, this is backyard. Yeah. So I mean, this is this is the cleanest way possible. And and that's the pig hasn't died from a shot to the head, and yeah. then they're putting a knife in its neck. When my so, grandfather used to do these things, it was to me in a humane way. Do you think we can be healthy without eating animals? No. So what nutrients do you think we need to get from eating there animals? There are certain proteins that we need from animals. I used to think the same thing, honestly. No. So, so let me let me ask you this. How much protein would you say is in um, our mom's breast milk? Our main development stage, you know, nature has provided us 5% of our calories from protein. Mm -hmm. And on most um, uh, eating vegan, you yeah. usually get around 10%. I'm more 15 to 20% myself. The thing I didn't realize is there's lots of protein in plants. Wait, yeah. It's, it's, it's a bee killer now. We all have a choice to make in, in life. If you know that this is one of the biggest causes of, 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 of this disease, take stuff. I, I think that's great. I, I love how you put that. The, I will never be a vegan. I used I to say the same thing. I will never be a vegan. <laughs> yeah. This is what? This is what people are seeing and then they, they feel they feel a sense of sadness, they feel um, uh, regretful, or they feel guilty. Mm -hmm. I understand, and I, from where you're coming from, I can completely see from your family's perspective that it was you know, seen we as a necessary never, thing to do. Even, you know, we would never torture an animal. We know when we have... It's, it's the... It's the it's 
the weekend, we have to kill two chickens and that's it. We kill if, if there was a way to survive without eating animals, would you be interested? No. So, okay, no. Even, even if you saw the data to show that we don't because need the... I know, I, I, I know we need protein from, from certain animals. I, I, I will just not. I will eat less. Um, but I will not stop eating. So I guess, I guess given that animals get their nutrients from the plants, would it not be more direct to go straight to the plants versus filtering them through the animals? Yeah, but um, animals uh, get their nutrients from other animals as well, not only plants. As far as eating carnivores, perhaps, you said? Yes. You mentioned earlier that you thought humans were carnivores. Do you not believe we're omnivores? Mm, no. <laughs> what, 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 what? <laughs> no, it's, it's an honest answer. Right? It's an honest answer, yeah. So what, what do you think makes us carnivores compared to om omnivores? Do you not think, think it's people just, can it's thrive? Just, um, it's how it was from the beginning and it's just maybe survival and we have... I don't know if we have evolved from, from that. It's like a lion. You can take a lion and you can train it to eat plants and to eat whatever nutrients. To have a, a vegan lion. Yeah, and we're not here today promoting vegan lions. No, no, no. What that's I'm that's saying, not what we're about. They are I'm carnivores. Saying, that's yeah, different. I agree. It, yeah. it doesn't matter how Yeah, but we have bonus to eat grass. Yeah, yeah but and we it's just... Great point. Yeah. So how do you feel about like vegan bodybuilders or on the other end of the spectrum? Him. There's a hundred-year-old doctor that just retired from heart surgery yeah. in his 90s, thriving as a vegan. Do you not think that's possible? It, it probably is. Um, I don't know what sort of diet he had as yeah. a child. That probably set him up for life. Um, maybe now in, 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 in my life I can I can be vegan or vegetarian. It's a, hmm. it's a personal choice. You mentioned personal choice. I mean, do you feel like it's personal choice when there's a victim involved? Um, it's just a... Yeah, I mean, that's for me. I mean, I, honestly, a lot of things you're saying, I felt the same way. And it took me a long time to peel back the layers of the onion. I guess yeah. the thing I would say is there's a, a, a free program called Challenge 22 where you get free access to registered dietitians. Yeah. And you can go ask them and say, hey, I met this guy on the street and he was saying this. Can anybody verify this? And then they can give you the si as much science as you'd like on it. And um, honestly, it's a group charge of positivity. And there's a team of mentors. And you get those recipe ideas too. For me, I thought it'd be quite limiting. And it's really expanded my love for food so it's I love lobster I love crabs I love a good steak yeah and I don't think anyone here um, chose <laughs> to become vegan because of the taste <laughs> the nice thing is there's the um, with a 700% growth in veganism in the last two years here in the yeah. UK the options get better by the day and if we can choose not to do it and it's not necessary then it comes becomes a question how can it be ethical I can be vegetarian uh -huh. or pescatarian uh -huh. That I can, because, yeah, or anything in the, that I can, that I can, I can give up meat entirely, I just can't give up seafood, it's just, I can't do that. Yeah, I think I, I did that for a while too. I mean, I guess looking back, I wish I'd done it all the way. But the great thing is you're thinking about these things. And honestly, we're just here building awareness. And then it's up to people to make their own decisions. Yes, and but I, I mean, honestly. Because people are looking. Um, people are asking questions. Uh -huh. So it is, as, you, as you, you rightfully said, it's, it is awareness. Now look at this. This is just... Yeah, sleeping next to a boy. Yeah. Isn't that cool? It is. I mean, I, I mean, how would you feel if there are dogs or cats on the screen? Would you feel any differently? No, it's the same. Whether I agree, yeah. yeah. An yeah, animal is cool. an animal. It doesn't matter if it is a rabbit or a dog or a pig. An animal is an animal. Have you seen this clip of the Japanese pufferfish that makes all the ornate patterns in the sand? I it's on BBC, I, yeah. No, I, 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 I briefly glimpsed something with the... Yeah, they basically work for 24 hours a day making the intricate patterns and the water from the tides keeps washing it so they have to keep to, um, uh, keep up with it. To, yeah. yeah, and they've done time lapse on it and, and, and you can see um, the little the little fish picking up little pebbles and it's, it's fascinating stuff because for me, much like yourself, I think I put fish in a different category. Yeah. And I think what you said was brilliant, an animal is an animal. Yeah, it is. I mean, I think... Here, it 
the, and, and this is another point. In the Caribbean, uh -huh. we have hunting season. Uh huh. Yeah, it doesn't seem to have it at all. You can't. And that's a, yeah. Yes, a certain time of the year, nobody is allowed to have certain animals. No, uh -huh. it's just not happening. You have to let them reproduce. Plus, you have to have respect. You can't just be killing animals all the time and all the day. That's it's interesting. Not. It's and not. It's not. Yeah. And I think, be it for the animals' perspective and from a conservational perspective, I think it's great to have that level of respect. Yeah. And I guess the question I would ask is not the level, the greatest level of respect, leaving Listen, animals to I live know. their life. I guess. Yeah. What was your name? Ronnie. Ronnie, I'm Jeremy. This has been a real pleasure for you. Yeah. Um, can I give you a, a yeah. car with some... I mean, I'd really encourage you to check out this Challenge 22 program. I will. I will. I will. For you, I will. Oh, thank and you, Ronnie. See, that really means a lot. I can do it. Yeah, so honestly, if you want to, if you've got your phone, I can show you now or you're welcome to take this with you. Um, yeah. This does. This is more Facebook-based and this is email. They, they, I can do it for months. Now, I don't drink, I don't smoke. That's I don't, fantastic. I, I, so, give me something. Yeah? <laughs> I can do it. Come on. I think that's must awesome, have, Ronnie. You must have some, some, some pleasures in life. Eating is my pleasure. Me too. <laughs> hey, Ed, it'll be, it'll be cool to see. I, I wonder if you'll find uh, the vegan food is a pleasure too. And I can tell you, you've got an open mind, and more importantly, I think you've got a good heart. No, I don't and know it's, about the, that. the question yeah. is, what does your heart say about it? Yeah. All right, so, Ronnie, what was your? Do you want to type it in, or should I? Oh, you don't. If you, if you, if you done the email, um, that's enough. Yeah. The, the rest is more just. Uh, here, let's see if it goes through here. Let's see if that works. There you are. Thanks. Yeah. For, honestly, thank you so so much for the time. I do this a lot. I, I really appreciate that you understand my my views or what I've said. Then we're going to have overpopulation of cows. We're going to have overpopulation of all animals. What do we do with animals? That's a really good point. I mean, because from my perspective, it's not just the killing, it's also the breeding. These animals are coming into existence for this purpose. Yeah. So as people um, stop demanding um, yeah, the animals man, to be the eaten, is less. Yeah, there'll so. be fewer and fewer non-human animals being bred mm -hmm. into existence. So yeah, that's that's the main thing there. But I, I think you're right. I think if, if you can agree on a per animal basis, mm -hmm. um, that it's not ethical. The question I would have for you is how many animals are you okay sending to the slaughterhouse. Oh, I can tell you're really thoughtful about this. Yeah, I mean, I, I can be pescatarian. I can't yeah. be vegan. I promise you. I promise you. I'll probably <laughs> try it for a day. That's okay, okay because that's, you all are great. I'll try it for a day. That's awesome, one Ryan. And, 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 and the... God. <laughs> <laughs> one last thing on fish. The one thing that um, I think made me think is if you were to push my head underwater, yeah. chances are I'd be um, flopping around. When we take a fish out of water, they do the same thing. Yeah. So I think back to what you said about an animal is an animal. That's why animal I look back animal. on my yeah. time as a pescatarian yeah. and you know, wish I'd kind of been thinking about that too. So I'll leave you with that. And I, I, I do this a lot and I, you're one of my uh, favorite chats I've had. So I, I, I'll try vegan for a day. Go vegan for one. One day. <laughs> Honestly, Ron, I appreciate the open mind. I think that's what it's okay, all about. I think you oh. raise a great point, Ronnie, because take Not it one tomorrow. day at a time. Monday. Monday, yeah. That's Monday. Okay, I know Monday I'll be vegan. <laughs> I, I, honestly, the um, when I first started, I took it one day at a time. I ate peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. You know, it's that's the one day at a time. I think is a great way to go about it. Well, we will go vegan on Monday. We yes. sounds like it's become a group. I think that's great to support each other. I think I, that's a yeah. Yes, that's the best I can do. I can try on Monday. So on Monday morning, when I wake up, when you wake up, think running is being vegan for Monday. Yeah. And then, Breathe. and then hopefully you can re you can reassess um, on Tuesday. Breathe. Is there something? Is there such a thing as vegan ice cream? There is. Oh, but no. Bo Boho Gelato is really nice around the corner. It's right next to a vegan sushi place. Honestly, you're in a hotbed if you want to try it's out vegan, vegan food. Sushi. Vegan sushi. That, that, there. That's, 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 never. that's easy. You just have rice. Because for me, for me, a lot of it's textures. You know, if you take um, a raw piece of meat, what what do you usually add to make it taste good? You know, se seasoning, things. herbs, yes. spices, those types yeah. of things. They're all plants. So you put those yeah. same things on a different texture, you're going to get a very similar Again, flavor. Remember what I told you? Blindfolded. <laughs> this is how we eat. It's, it's, I think it's, 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 we know we eat by our eyes, and then 
by our mouth. So once someone close my eyes and don't tell me what I'm eating, uh -huh. I'm happy to do that. Uh, I I'm think happy it, to see it with my tongue. I like the way you put that. You see with your eyes, then your mouth, and then I would argue yes. to try to see with your heart, or to eat with your heart. <laughs> so I'm going to try the, the, the vegan ice cream. I love ice cream. Awesome, so, yeah. Love, love, love. This world awesome. cannot exist without ice cream. So if you say there's vegan ice cream, I will go and I will try. Do you want me to show you exactly where it is? Yes. Yeah. We're going to have an ice cream eating competition. Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> and I'm so busy today, I can't drink, but nobody can have more ice cream than me. I eat enough. That, that I know. Oh, thank you so much, Ronnie. Th thank you for giving me hope sometimes doing this work. It's not always that easy to keep yeah, that. Know, you, you've, re you've helped charge up my vegan batteries. I try, so thank you. I try it for one day, Monday. <laughs> Monday, I will probably see you and I'll let you know again. Would, would you like a, these okay. are free, some free resources. These are great documentaries. It'd be cool to watch them together. It sounds like you're already keyed into a lot of this, which I think is so cool. He has a good diet. <laughs> anyway. Should we, yeah, let's talk yeah. it out. Come on, get in here. Oh, let me, let, 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 Anyway, thank you very much. Oh, thank you for all you're doing. Yes. Nice. Be good. Bye. Enjoy vegan Brighton. Bye. Cheers. Bye. So as you can probably tell, I enjoyed that chat a lot. When she approached, I think she was in that pre-contemplation phase because she hadn't seriously considered veganism, and she also didn't think we could be healthy without using animals. What I think made this chat unique is you could visibly see her changing during the conversation. The brilliant thing is she had an open mind, listened to what I had to say, and you can see her pondering it during the chat. I think during our conversation, she moved from that pre-contemplation phase to that contemplation phase, and ultimately into that preparation or that action phase by signing up to the Vegan Society emails. While I'm not trying to inspire people to try veganism or go vegan for a day, this was an important first step for her. I was quick to praise her for being open to explore veganism. It also opened the door to talk about transitioning to veganism as taking it one day at a time. This is much less overwhelming than thinking you need to change every element of your life all at once. Because we moved through so many stages at once, I started out by raising some high-level awareness, and when I saw she was open and contemplating what I had to say, moved into more of the ethical considerations, and even started to address some of her potential barriers around missing the taste of certain foods. I've also worked a lot more on trying to paraphrase and repeat back to the person what they've just said to confirm my understanding and to show that I'm listening. I think that was a big part of why this chat was effective. She even said towards the end of the chat that she appreciated me listening to what she had to say and trying to understand her perspective. Hopefully the Vegan Society emails will help support her to turn that positive conversation into lasting change. Now there's a lot of exciting things going on in the background of my advocacy work. I set up an Instagram, so be sure to check that out. I also plan to start incorporating more of the animals I interact with at the farmed animal sanctuaries I volunteer at. Do you want to miss out on all that? I didn't think so. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. See you next time.